most of the time, I mean, one horn, you normally view them with many buff, bachelor head of buffalo, two youngster within that head, they are roughly between 18, sometimes you find them 28 of all of them in total. So I believe that it's the same hat, they just spilled into the different group. And also because some of them, bachelor hat, they're still a little bit young, and it look like these boys are a little bit more old, and losing a lot of interest of going, and their knees are a little bit heavy, so they have to relax very close to the water hole. They might get together to the water hole and join together with the rest of the bachelor hat. So some of the so we drawn from the metric society, it's the matter of, um, yeah, still we have quite a lot of competitions that they want to gain more experience with the bachelor head and gain more strength. When they come back uh, in the very near future, they were able to gain positions and able to mate and push the other one freely without no comment on, on the other buffaloes because the more you're strong, Survival of the fittest out in wild is where you're going to gain a lot of things. You're able to mate, you're able to do whatever you need to do, you will survive longer from lions and the other things that haunt you around. See, so. I'm not quite happy this is my first uh, drive to see. Uh, Sister shot, I mean, on one horn. Only thing that we'll be looking around is Mr. Judge. He's still surviving, I believe. He's hornless. So it will be difficult for him to survive the next season, I believe. Because he's getting more old and old. I don't think he won't want to die with hunger. It's a matter of. Um, the fitness out in the, in the world, the more you're getting more old, you lose uh, a lot of weight and really you become to get to the lines and get selected or you get selected and you, someone will be after you and hunt you, kill you easily in that way. survive into the area it's the safety in numbers they regroup back together as you can see all five buffalo here if anything comes in and try to hunt them they all stand together and fight and it, it really helps I would say the safety in numbers and the reason why they withdraw from the metric society I even mentioned this when I started but I haven't clear mentioned why, why is the reason? You find that these old bulls on the metric society, the young bulls and the young females, there's an old females also there, but naturally females are a lot more stronger and light. When it comes to traveling, females they can handle the situation of traveling because of males are a lot more heavy, uh, the one able to travel such a very good kilometers a, a day. A metro society or breeding herd they can travel at least between five to ten kilometers a day if they really want to move. So these guys are a lot more heavy and the horns are a lot more heavy and the animal itself, the weight is a lot more heavy. They weren't able to travel that much. So it will be a time when if they find that that's I mean they're not keeping with the metro society and is upset because they're always behind and the buffalo that is always behind is the first priority to get hunted from the lions. So what they do, they withdraw from the metro society and find the bachelor head like this and join and live together because they're all moving at a slow pace. They can handle the situation of traveling, being slowly, getting to the water hole, lying down as they're lying down here. So they're not traveling that much. Water hole is that far from here. Got a water hole. It's about uh, one kilometer and a half. And there's the other dam in, in other dam in our neighbor farm, which is less than from eight to a kilometer. So that between two dams, as you can see, the life is a lot more easy to them. They can go to the other dam, they can go to the other side. They won't travel that much far. 
say is the reason why they were thrown from the metric society is because of the weight they have when they're getting old. The same as anyone else, a human being, any animals that are living in the world. Even a human being, once you're getting old, you lose interest of uh, playing soccer, rugby, and everything. You tend to be like sitting, being alone, having your coffee, whiskeys, and everything. Same as the buffalo. What they do, they hang around the water, having uh, the whiskey in the water, lie around, great lift the water hole, and enjoying the package from withdrawing from the metro society. So sometimes if female comes, uh, it doesn't mean this buffalo they weren't able to mate, they can mate. Sometimes it happens, we find that female gets separated by lions and ended landing into the metro, I mean to bachelor had two females or one female or three or four joints here. If they become an estrus, um, I mean these boys they were able to mate and it will be production out of it. So the only thing they don't want to keep up the female because they are a lot more heavy and they won't do that at all. Because if they go back and join by this age, lions, there will be a problem from the lions. I mean, they will have problem from the lions because they will be behind and they will get easily hunted. This is one of the species that I uh, mentioned earlier on. The species that we have spotted, all of them, they're black in color. As you can see, a rhino, grayish, dark in color. Elephant is the same, grayish, dark in color. It symbolizes black in color, all of them. They really, they, don't, they won't handle into the area without going to the water hole in a daily basis. If you look at, pick one of the buffalo heads, you've got the mud on the body, <coughs> is to call the systems. As I mentioned, the elephant, you tend to see them spreading the mud. Buffalo, what they do, they go into the water hole, the wallow, is to really cool themselves from the heat because this color of the animal is, is absorbed, the heat. They don't reflect at all, so it's fun that it really, a heat is a problem for them. They have to go to the water in a daily basis. They require water in a daily basis. So sometimes if buffalo don't see buffalo or elephant or rhino, even water which are, are, are black in color, you can go to the water hole, any water hole, pick any water hole, they really can come and get to see them easy on that way. So the reason why sometimes if we it's too hot into the area, we even mention from the early drive that what we're going to do, we're going to visit the water holes, it will be easy for us to get to see. Um, one or two of the big five because we know elephant would like to go to the water, buffalo, rhino too would like to wallow in the water.